were there mentors or people in the industry um, at this point in your career as you're sort of forging your way that helped you or did you sort of um, work it all out on yourself? You mentioned YouTube and obviously doing your own research, but were there any sort of strong influences? I think from a face-to-face, like, um, con- uh, from like a face-to-face contact uh, perspective, my first, uh, the first guy who kind of let me like be a subcontractor as a personal trainer in his business was Tory Truett. Mm-hmm. Um, based, he was based out of MSAC at the time. And he kind of just saw how passionate I was and um, I really liked the way he went about things. And, you know, like I said, although I was doing so much of my own research and study, probably more than, than anyone else that was already established trainers were doing, like definitely more. Um, he definitely did, especially from a, a, a business perspective in terms of how to actually run the business side of things, how he taught me how important networking was and building relationships with clients and communication and all the stuff that you probably don't really think about until you start. For young developing coaches and trainers that are listening in, what did that look like? What were some actionable um, traits that you were starting to take on, with, you know, in terms of developing your your, um, your relationships and, and developing networks in the industry? I think, um, you know, things like going to seminars or conferences and whatnot with like-minded people um, was, was a, almost a no-brainer because I'm like, all right, if I can go to this conference for two or three days and I know that, 50 to 100 of the, the attendees there are also probably high-level coaches or aspiring coaches. I'm, you know, I, I get to mingle with all these people that I'm going to definitely learn something from, if not continue to maintain some form of relationship with, with over the years. Mm-hmm. But then even with clientele, like I was very fortunate and still am that a lot of the clientele I trained from day one because of the area I was training people out of were a lot of corporate people, you know, people that had pretty pretty significant jobs and, and had a really big network themselves. So I, not, I wouldn't necessarily say intentionally, but like I just tried to build good relationships with those people. And then, you know, that, that leads to uh, um, an introduction to someone else. You've been in it for about six, seven years. No, knowing what, what you now know, um, what would you do differently? What, what was some, um, yeah, what was some big mistakes or, or big rocks that you wish you focused on a bit earlier? Um, yeah, what would you do differently if you're starting now? I would definitely be posting an absolute shitload I don't know if you can swear on this, but an absolute shitload yeah. of content for free across, um, you know, your chosen platforms. So whether it is podcasts, Instagram, you know, TikTok now, whatever it is, but just posting as much free content that, as you can, because I think a lot of people are kind of under the impression of like, oh, I've spent all this time and money learning this stuff. So someone should pay me for it. Mm-hmm. My whole approach is like, again, similar to what we said before, give value without anything expectation return and it'll come back. But also people in my opinion, don't, and I've, you know, I've taken this quote from someone else, but people don't pay for information. They pay for implementation. So my mm-hmm. whole approach was like, all right, if I, I just want to give out that much free stuff that when someone finally decides they want to get in shape, there's no other way that they'd think of anyone else other than me, because I've just continued to give them free stuff over time. And you mentioned the importance of consistency, how you're posting pretty much since 2013, I believe, um, daily and providing value for, for someone that's starting out and feels a bit unsure on on what value to provide. But well, early on, when you know, I'm sure it's quite easy for you to do now. But early on, um, what were some ways that you could, I guess, get creative and work out what content you needed to post that, that was going to be valuable for your for your audience? Mm. Just literally think to yourself, all right, what who are your target client, and what do they need to know? And for mm. you, this is this is the thing that I found a little bit difficult initially as well. Is like for me, I'd be like thinking, this is the most simple shit ever. Like surely everyone knows this but they don't like yeah. you, you you spend all this time learning this stuff like how many reps should i do to build strength like that's a that's a good question to answer because a lot of people don't know for those starting out maybe they're studying they're just doing their certs and uh, they've got their personal account but they haven't got a business account set up uh would it be you know doubling down on tiktok is it youtube shorts like this like you said there's so many options now um where would you where would you go and where would you And how many would you focus on, I guess, at once? Yeah, I think the first one would be email list. And and even if you've got a small email list, start figuring out whether you want to send out one a week, one a month, two a week, two a month, every day, whatever. Be consistent with that. I think that's kind of like should always be a staple is keeping some form of consistent communication with your email list. Mm -hmm. Um, It's hard to tell at the moment, man. Like 
I'm posting like a decent amount of content on like TikTok, but there's only been like a few that have got super high engagement and the rest are pretty average engagement. It's really important to figure out what style of um, content you relate the best. So is it podcast? Is it podcast? Is it talking to a camera on YouTube? Is it putting out infographics on Instagram and figuring out what you're good at and then doubling down on that. 